House Republicans are taking another step toward axing President Obama's tax man. The effort to impeach IRS Commissioner John Koskinen faces many procedural hurdles, but battle lines were drawn during a high-profile hearing today. Chief Washington Correspondent James Rosen reports. This is sort of Lois Lerner revisited. Indeed, the House Judiciary Committee's hearing exploring the possible impeachment of IRS Commissioner John Koskinen can be traced back to mid-2013, before Koskinen even worked for IRS, when mid-level IRS official Lois Lerner disclosed, then refused to testify about, her agency's systematic application of extra scrutiny to Tea Party and other groups seeking tax-exempt status. When Congress asks you a question, you're expected to give a truthful answer. And when Congress issues a subpoena, Compliance is not optional. Panel Republicans appearing as witnesses presented the case against Koskinen, arguing that he deepened the IRS mess with what they called false testimony to Congress. Are you or are you not going to provide this committee all of Lois Lerner's emails? We are already yes starting or process. Yes, we will do that. Days earlier, IRS personnel had destroyed some 400 backup tapes containing missing Lerner emails. And while Koskinen would, by his own account, oversee a massive, multi-million dollar effort to comply with six pending investigations, including turning over 24,000 emails affected by the crash of Lerner's hard drive, Treasury's Inspector General would ultimately find another 1,000 such emails IRS hadn't turned over. He had a duty to preserve documents under subpoena. He had a duty to produce those documents that were under subpoena. He had a duty to testify accurately. He had a duty to correct the record if, in fact, he testified in an inaccurate fashion. No wonder the guy didn't show up. If I had that kind of record, I don't think I'd have showed up today either. Koskinen cited scheduling difficulties, but said in a written statement, while the allegations raised are serious and relate to acknowledged errors made by the IRS, the Constitution reserves the use of impeachment for treason, bribery, or high crimes and misdemeanors. None of my actions relating to the issues above, viewed in light of all the facts, come close to that level. Yeah, I think the greatest uh, evidence of gross negligence, dereliction of duty, breach of public trust, was when members of this body in October of 2013 decided for purely political reasons that you were going to shut down the government for 16 days and cost the economy $24 billion in lost economic activity. This was the first of two hearings Judiciary will hold on the possibility of impeaching Koskinen. The second, next month, will examine the standards for impeachment, which has only been used against an executive branch official who is not the president once before, back in 1876. Brett. Well,